you're probably wondering why Photoshop is being used in a weighting tutorial. Well, it doesn't matter which image editor you use as long as it can do gradients. And an image gradient is our secret weapon to controlling how we weight stuff with the curve tool inside Messiah. So any program that can do a gradient and fall off sections on a gradient you can use. Go to File and just create a new gradient, 256 pixels. It doesn't matter the resolution because we're just dealing with pixels here. It can be RGB or black and white, but just make sure that it's that wide. This canvas is going to control our gradient, and I have one set up here. But in case you're wondering, you can edit a gradient, and it has just a gradient from white to black. And you can add in different stops to add the color. And what we have is a weight gradient that goes from no weight to 100% weight back to no weight. And inside a curve, you have a U and a V value, especially inside a tube. Because a tube has a, a circumference, which is the V, and then it has the U value, which is the length of the tube. And in our curve, the value is U, which is this gradient from left to right. And the reason why it's not a linear gradient running from left to right is because we don't have a linear face. So here's some quick locations that you can place colors on the gradients. It's just two blacks, three whites, and two blacks. And the black spacers are set 10% away from one edge, 40% away, 50, 60%, and then 90% black, and 100% black. So the three whites are in the middle and the black, so you have this rounded square wave. So we're just going to click OK and start at one edge on our gradient tool and draw this gradient with the shift click to keep it straight all the way to the other edge and that's our gradient for setting the weights on our curve. Let's so go to File and we'll save this as a BMP and I'm just calling it U underscore gradient dot BMP. Let's click OK. Make sure it's for Windows and it's 24-bit. Now back into Messiah. Inside Messiah, we have this curve that starts at the top lip. Its U travels along the spline, around to the other side, and then back to the top again. So inside Setup, if you go to the Curve block, you have this image pull-down that you can load an image. And this image comes from the Images folder that we just exported ours from in our Projected Weights project, load ugradient.bmp. And what that does is it loads this image along that spline. So the spline is, being, is warping this image into a donut. So we're selectively excluding all the weights from the upper lip to the lower lip, even though we have a weight volume in here. So we don't have to make that much change as long as we can establish a difference between where the points on the upper lip and the lower lip separate. We can use the spline to extract those values. Now if you want to see this work, let's just drop a quick X form on here. Pick the Steve model, add the X form effect. Let's go to a right view and position this right under the sideburns. That's where his jaw is going to open. And make sure to pick the ellipse curve weight as the weight type. Just leave it at static. When we go into animate now, Go to a front view and pitch this null down and see what it, what it does. Now we can continue refining this inside. You'll see that there are some sections of the lip that got weighted to the bottom lip. We don't want that. We want to control that. So if we go back into setup and set this X form to combination, we can adjust where this upper curve is going until it intersects those lower points. Now that that curve is grabbing those points, we don't have to worry about them. Now as we rotate this null, the points stay steady. We've isolated the upper and lower lips without having to do any puppet master splitting on the original mesh. And we can use this to composite in meta effectors with a meta weight. So to make sure that this stays in the correct position, go into Setup, tap that little A, which puts it into Animate mode go to the rest block and then record its current position into the setup and deactivate it so that it's not animating anymore and now our weights are set. Now you'll notice also that parts of his face are deforming because even though we have a map on here that's defining a weight we still have a volume that's clipping that map value off and the volumes are just too big on some of these especially the corners of the mouth. So we can change those. The curve point three, 
Uh, go into setup, make sure you're editing all of this in setup, and make sure that the depth is set to something else smaller, like maybe 0.4. And that will diminish the, the sizes. And back into animate, you can take a look at that. So you can also mask that off inside the meta weight as well. But the idea here is to use maps to project weight onto different characters. So as long as you have a curve that can separate the lips from each other, you can use the same gradient map to map multiple characters. Let's go to File, and we'll save this scene as Projection Weight 2.